Burlington Northern, back in the heyday, emphasized the importance of hazardous material safety. During the summer month of 1985, that very nightmare occurred. When the westbounder mixed freight train 6311 West, heading for Rochester, Minnesota, made an egregious error in reading of the correct document information on the papers he collected, he failed to recognize he was headed for fatal danger. An eastbound gravel train, 6575 East, headed for Alberton, Montana, was carrying over a hundred plus cars of gravel and exterior post-sided open top hoppers. The combined speed of over 106 miles per hour was enough to demolish the bridge the trains collided on, causing one of the piers to telescope into a number of hopper cars that were all but demolished at the scene of the crash. Earlier that day, Cheyenne, Wyoming was hit with a major flash flooding that could pose as a threat to the railroads. Most of Burlington Northern telephone and radio systems were disconnected and out of service. Special information tones were reported near the main call center for Burlington Northern at the time. Specific area message encoding transmitted signals by reporting flash flooding and hailstorms at elevated speeds of over 35 miles per hour. Rail traffic was transferred to the 3rd Division Main Line. Both trains conducted brake tests, one end at Long Longmont and the other one at Broomfield. At mile marker 14, a brakeman saw, saw headlights and ditch lights of the westbound mixed freight 6311 and braced for fatal impact. It was almost 8 o'clock Mountain Daylight Time when the head-on collision occurred. Tragically, five of the seven crewmen were killed instantly. One suffered crit critically grotesque and censorious injuries. The other suffered emotional trauma, but was not hurt in any physical manner. All five locomotives, including 6575, 6576, 6376, 7374, and 6311, were all but demolished and charred away in the fatally fiery head-on collision. Burlington Northern and even Southern Pacific were at an absolute loss for words. Two SD-40s, an SD-40-2, and two SD-45s totaled and turned to powdered granite from incorrect document information. It took 13 hours plus to extinguish the flames from the melted radiators on the two 45s that were crushed like tinfoil in the collision. The NTSB and the FRA confirmed that the crewmen who were killed had no disciplinary history and were deemed the most polite, professional, and most courteous gentlemen the railroads had ever, had ever hired. One of the eyewitnesses told 60 Minutes correspondent Harry Reasoner before his death in August of 91 that he saw smoky topaz copper and citrine colored flames shooting out of one of the units, plus the mixed hazmat cars that strewn across the tracks. He claimed it was something from a sci-fi novel, but non-fictional. I couldn't be more alarmed that we were under lockdown for 13 hours, he had said. Now since 1985, Burlington Northern wrote that document orders are being corrected with new software to avoid any confusion that could lead to a more sinister problem not only for its railroads, but also for the tens of thousands of employees who, they, who work for them. Bill Plant, CBS News, The White House.